Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here, bringing us on a video here today, bringing you guys a After Effects product to create your own very cool uh, transition screen. So basically, I had a, someone, I forgot if it was in Twitter, freaking uh, Discord, or live stream yesterday. However, someone asked me if I can do a quick video on how to kind of do like a really cool screen transition. So this is the animation right here. Essentially, the background itself, we're not going to teach you guys, I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that. It's literally like my logo, right? And then my stroke logos in two different colors, and then like a brush stock for my brush pack. Um, self plug right there. Um, but yeah, it's nothing. That's nothing too difficult right here whatsoever. So don't worry about that too much. It's really just kind of introducing guys to the effect you can do um, with this very simple gradient wipes and stuff like that. So if I go over here and show you guys what it looks like, so this is starting uh, starting soon screen, and then I would transition it right into my um like intro, and then I'm, once my intro is done, I transition it. Ta-da, kind of thing, right? Now, keep in mind that it looks kind of awkward because this is, you know, my current um, streaming kind of stuff is pink and yellow and whatnot. However, my uh, transition screen is orange and whatnot. Keep in mind that if I did it, you know, all in one uh, succession or I had a, a theme going on, it would look a little more cleaner. Um, but yeah, but just also keep in mind, this is just very basic uh, video and how to kind of teach you how to do the actual little animation that I just did currently right now. Um, because essentially you can have like words flying like right here right where it gets start, starts to get connected like right here You can have your logo flying um, You know right where it starts to go out you can have the logo fly out you have you don't have to have the logo static in the background This is just essentially just introducing you guys. So <laughs> Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this really quickly. So I'm gonna go to tutorial And I'm gonna, be sh I'm gonna show you guys with a very simple um, Solid just so you guys can kind of get it, you know as immediately kind of thing, right? So I'm right click over here go to new Click on solid. We're gonna name this background because that's what it is. And uh, I don't know why I thought I, I don't know why I thought I didn't have it. Um, so yeah, once you have your background set, you want to go to effect. Then you want to go ahead and go to transition. And the one that I use was CC Jaws. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different things you guys can choose from. I'm pretty sure every last one of these should work as long as you guys know you're, of course, completing the animation from 100 to zero then back to 100 that way you guys understand it needs to reset that way when the transition ends it actually ends when the screen is not no longer there kind of thing right so i'm gonna use cc jaws like so right so i'm gonna take my uh little keyframe here click on that take my completion throw this all the way up to 100 as you guys see actually before i do that let me guys let me show you guys really quickly what the other settings i'm gonna use um because you know i'm gonna be changing it for a second but my shape you have different you have like a rain uh, i almost said rainbow robo Block is what I'm gonna be using, and then waves. The one I used was definitely block, um, because I wanted to have that really cool. You saw how I had before, where it has like this little, you know, kind of like screen, like like rectangles, like kind of cutting in and whatnot. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take my angle or direction, excuse me, put that on on 50, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my width. That was like a weak cough, but it was worth it. Um, 20 width, just like so, to kind of make those uh, uh blocks a little bit more thicker. And then I'm going to take my height here and just take it and put it all the way up to 100, just like so. So now, if I were to go ahead and I already have the completion keyframe, I'm going to go ahead and go around one and a half seconds. So that's 130, or excuse me, that's 30 frames after the one second uh, frame and whatnot. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the completion and take this. Let me put up my, I don't know where this is. Let's, oh, let's put this on. This should be at zero. This, however, should be at 100. I wanted to put, I forgot to put it at 100 because I want to show you guys what the blocks were looking like. So 100 for the first keyframe, as you can see, just like so. And then when it comes in, it does this very cool little closing kind of animation thing. And then at 130, as you can see, it's full. The animation is full. So at this moment in time, you would have set your uh, OBS to key or to transition right here. And I'll show you guys exactly how to measure that and whatnot for yourselves. And then basically, we're gonna go ahead and just go into like, let's just say another uh like a, another second uh before or after excuse me i'll just go ahead and just do it like so and i'm gonna take my keyframe and go ahead over here the completion put it at 100 again and uh this might be a little bit too slow um i might put this around like a third of a like a third of a you know second kind of thing so i'm gonna take this actually i'm gonna move this over here so that can be fast that way the transition is a lot more easier to kind of uh I guess maybe get rid of or kind of like just completely hide your screen immediately as possible right kind of so hide it and then you know it will gradually go back and it's very very stagnant right now we're gonna change that in a second I'm gonna take this and put this like right here actually so the entire thing would be like let's just say two seconds okay right just like so this entire thing is just gonna take two seconds um yeah I don't like it like this so of course we're gonna have to have, <laughs> have to add easy for uh, easy ease just like so I'm gonna highlight all these keyframes right click 
go to keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease so you can see how very like boring and kind of like like i said stagnant it is what we're gonna do is we're gonna click back on this graph editor now be sure you have the uh actual graph tool um tips on and then make sure you have edit speed graph that way you guys have the same exact graph as i do because if you guys are new to after effects uh your default graph is not gonna look the same as mine so as you guys saw i highlighted these actual uh, keyframes again you see these little yellow kind of like uh extended anchor points and whatnot i'm gonna go ahead and take each one i'm gonna drag this one towards the right this will uh, kind of increase the speed it's gonna take for the actual first cut to occur right so i'm gonna go ahead and just take this and just move it around to my left just a little bit just like so, because I want to make sure I keep that, you know, quick succession, and then it goes back to a nicer, uh, kind of smoother um, look to it. So I'm going to take this now. I'm going to go in, just like so. And I'm going to take this one, bring it in just a little bit, just like there. Okay, so I'm going to turn off that graph editor. I'm going to go ahead and just look at it again, right? As you can see, it's very, very, very clean. So if I just go ahead and look again, very quick, very quick kind of slow methodical pull out and what kind of thing <laughs> whoa okay anyway but as you guys can see it's very very simple to do and then basically once you kind of finish this is it's you're pretty much all done essentially right like this is all i personally did for mine however i just had a background that make it look a little bit more cooler for you guys um like I said, keep in mind, you can do some really cool things like you can have it, you know, pause for a long time and then kind of fade out. Maybe if you had like, you know, you're doing a transition that needed to ha have a little more time, you just simply would probably just keyframe, you know, your completion at, you know, keep it at like, uh, what is, what would have to be a, a zero, right? Yeah, you keep it at zero for just a little bit longer and then you, know, you keyframe right after that frame and then bring it back to like that, you know, you can slowly gradually, you know, take it back out kind of thing. Um, but yeah, you can do a lot of more things. So this is me just kind of teaching you the basics to it. But let me quickly show you guys how to render this out. So what you're going to do, of course, is uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure my position settings, composition settings. This should be, what did I have it? This is basically two. So I'm going to make it like 215 just so I can make sure if I have to do any little edits and whatnot. That should still be pretty okay. So it should repeat a lot more quicker and whatnot as you can see. Right? Cool. So I'm going to go up here to composition. I'm going to go to add to render cube. And with your settings here, all you're going to do is click on loose, uh, lossless, excuse me, right? You want to go to your format. You want to go to quick time, just like so. You want to take your channel, change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha, because of course this is going to be a transparent, you know, transition. You want to make sure the background that's transparent right here is also transparent in your render, just like so, right? And take your uh, color here and just put it on straight. It's nothing really. You just want to make sure um, it's on matted, just like so. So I'm press OK. And we're sort of, it's already called tutorial MOV. And that should just be in my documents, just like so. Boom. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is going to click render. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Oh, that was loud and obnoxious. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go into my OBS. Now, your OBS probably looks a little bit more different, or I don't know which one you guys might have used. You might use OBS Studio, OBS, Streamlabs OBS. Um, I'm just using Streamlabs OBS, but wherever your transition is, usually it's right next to where your screens, uh, your sources are, you know, kind of things right here. What is, it, what is this one called? Um... This is your sources, this is your scenes, right? So, anyway, I'm gonna click over here on this little cogwheel here. You see that your transition might be default. Personally, mine was on cut prior. So, what you're gonna do is gonna drop down this, as you guys saw before, and you wanna go to Stinger, right? And then with this, you wanna go to choo uh, choose your video file, which is raid over, what did I call it, tutorial, right? Um, Yeah, I think it was a tutorial one. Okay, so time, we're gonna just put this on frame, just like so. I won't keep it on time, just like with milliseconds. And then I'm going to go to transition point. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go back to this, you know, thing right here. So we had it at uh, 30 frames, right? So I'm going to go back over here. Uh, where is it at? This is the wrong thing. What am I doing? Okay, right over here. And I'm going to take this. The duration is actually 215. It doesn't matter too much, but that's fine. Now transition point, milliseconds. It should be, should be 30. If I'm wrong, I'll see. But let's just see. If I go back to let's just say screen so yeah it's definitely a little bit too too fast so is it three let's put it on frames frames 30 right there we go so i did have it on milliseconds i should just put it kept on on frames it was the obvious choice right there Right, you can see it's it's definitely where it should be. So essentially, I don't know why I put it on time. I was I wasn't paying I wasn't paying attention there. But you guys just very much saw, right? You guys just saw what kind of happened. I just had it on the wrong um, what you call it, time frame, right? So the transition point type, whatever. I had it on time milliseconds. I kind of 
I don't know why, but my brain was like, yo, put it on milliseconds, because that's usually what you would go for. Um, anyway, frame, just like so, right? So all you had to do is copy the amount of frames that were, were your, your what would you call it? The completion was at zero, right? So that's would be at the 30 frame mark. That way you make sure that it's gonna be completely black at this frame, so when the transition actually happens, it is seamless, and you can't see what's going on in the background kind of thing, right? So, as you guys saw once again, I'll just show you guys with the, you know, starting soon and whatnot. It's time to actually get started. Your intro starts playing, right? Once your intro is kind of done, you say, okay, transition, and boom, now we're into it. So, it looks so much cleaner. It's just a very nice, cool kind of thing to do. Um, personally, I think if you're looking to kind of get into streaming and whatnot and or, um... If you're a designer, most likely, and you're looking to design, you know, stream packages and stuff like that, this is something that's going to get your, your, or it's going to validate the price that you might be charging, like, whether I, you do $100, $200, $400, $500,000, $1,000, $1, or whatever you guys are doing, right? This kind of, um, quality is what's going to separate you guys, and people are going to want the newest, coolest things, so just keep that in mind when you guys do this little stuff. Um, yeah, I just want to teach you guys all the basics and whatnot, hope you guys definitely understood everything. Um, essentially still, you can still do a lot more things, like I said, you can really kind of go into it with a lot more of a plan, however, I just want to give you guys the basics, get you guys familiar with it, and, uh, for you to take control of your own creativity, so, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video here today, and uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like on the video. 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. I know what I'm going to do. It's not gonna, probably not going to be the AI file because this is super, super duper easy. The only settings that are ever going to be like coming in handy for you guys are this, uh, the CC JAWS, um, uh, what is it called, transition, right? So all I had it was on 50 direction, which kind of gave me on a diagonal, had your weight, your height, excuse me, at 100%, you had your width at 20 rather than 10, and had your shape on block rather than spikes, so those are the only things, so there's really nothing else to give you guys, so I know I'm going to give you guys, though, I'm not going to spoil it yet, but you're going to have, you're gonna have to hit 200 likes, so anyway, um, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later, make sure you guys comment down anything you want to see me personally do on this channel here below, and uh, much love to you guys, and I'll talk to you guys next week, I'm most likely to be streaming this week as well, so so just keep up for that and how I hope you guys are on some break too because I don't know like last week's video did freaking fantastic and I appreciate that very very much anyway no more to hold you guys and I'll talk to you guys later so switch you out peace don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later